And how 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 long after you had the second? How um, long did it take? Three years. Three years. Three years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that a fact? I thought about it a bit more, gave me a bit more time, <laughs> because it was it was um it was like surreal having a child. Because if you count the first year that the first child had to kind of yeah. you know, be wind and then yeah. and then. And things like so, you take one year already, so yeah. it's another two, another one and a half years, and yeah. you have the second child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So not much time in between, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a learning experience with, with having the children because you have to show a lot of affection for the children. They're very demanding. It's just not about having the children. It's how you have to readjust your whole life. There's things about childcare, picking up the children, taking them to school. Mm -hmm. It's just different. It's, so it's you can't just go to sorry. You can't just go to like oh let's go to cinema. Oh let's go. You can't do things like that. Like what we would be able to do before. Yeah. Or let's just go and eat somewhere because they'll damage the whole place. If you know because this is what happens. There's certain things you have to think a lot about what you're going to do to make your relationship work mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you your relationship has to work. It's not just the children now. The, their children there and yes we love them and all that. But our relationship has to work right so then how did you turn everything around so what did you have to do to you know make the it same work page, <laughs> make, make it work being together but not in sync now you had to synchronize <laughs> so what were the steps you took to be honest there was i remember there was a opportunity that we had to go to a love talk mm -hmm. a love walk a love, love walk. walk. Yeah, yes. there was a love walk. Yeah. And I remember we sat down during that period and mm -hmm. we spoke about things that we normally wouldn't even speak about because we were just relaxed and we were encouraged to speak and, and we really opened up to each other thing at that point and we really spoke about things that we should have spoken about a long, long time ago. And I think it was quite a surprise for both of us when we heard what each other had to say and we tried to start making plans about things that we're going to do to structure because sometimes when you have so much going on children this and that you're not structuring everything life's just going on mm -hmm. and you're not enjoying it as you should be so we started trying to like we said we had family day and we had yeah. our time and we had movie day and things like that so that we had time for ourselves and then we were trying to make plans as well for where we would drop um we get child care for the children basically so that we could spend some time together. And it started working. Mm -hmm. It started working. And I think it was more because we actually started speaking about it. Because we sat down and every time we spoke about it, I mean, I'm quite vocal, so probably I speak about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, unfortunately. But I think, yes, and he does listen. And sometimes I realize that, yes, there's certain things I need to do. And I had to address it. And I had to be honest, like, okay, this is something I... I need to do for my for him as well and then he would he would respond mm -hmm. and that's the amazing part of it because when I, when you when you please your partner he they please you back and that's really one other thing that i recognize as well when i make it when I, i'm not happy and i i tell him okay this is what i want and i'm sorry if i did this to you and he responds quite kindly because it's almost like i wasn't putting myself oh i did everything right and you did i made him realize that okay it's not about you i'm not blaming you I know I made mistakes and then we speak about it and instead of me because when I go there and I start arguing and saying oh you didn't do that it just we just clash nothing mm -hmm. happens but every time but when we actually speak and we try to and we apologize to each other and we feel like we're closer and you see things start working and we feel happy together but every time when we do the opposite the opposite happens I think what I've learned from everything is regards to communication is so vital in relationships because there's sometimes you don't want to talk, the pressures of the children are there, and then you just keep it in. You don't want to talk, but every time when it's got to a point said, look, we need to talk, it, it's helped, and then things change around, and then, okay, we're on the same ball again. And with the pressures of children, because when they're at a young age, they, they can be pressurized. And when we sit down and evaluate things, that's what helps to turn things around. And, our biggest problem, well, the problem was, was more communication. Right. And when there's no communication, mm -hmm. you don't know what the other person's thinking. And the communication is not only about talking, it's about listening to. Yeah. Right? So you, you did the Love Walk, yeah. which is a, 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 an event that from time to time we promote for couples mm -hmm. to take a day off. Yeah. And of children, of work, of school, of everything, and go for a walk and go for a questionnaire. Yeah. Right? That's what yeah. you did. And then... 
you, you, you see, this, this is so interesting because you dealt with the problem uh, in a very intelligent, reasonable way. So you, you didn't uh, pinpoint the problem by being emotional. Mm -hmm. There were no chocolates or bouquet of flowers or long trips to, no. to whatever, whatever. No, you just sat down and talked. Let's talk, let's be real about this. So what do you have to say? Say it, I will say what I have to say. Go through the questionnaires, open up, understand each other. So that's intelligent love in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. So from that day, are you saying that from that day, things began to change. Yeah. Most definitely, things started to change. And whenever we go through a difficult time, because not every time things are perfect, you sure, get the pressures, yeah. schools, lots of things going on. Mm -hmm. But I always recognize that you have to go back to the key again, which is talking about it. Because if you don't talk about it, it builds up. And then one day you're like a volcano ready to explode. That's exactly. Yeah. So that's, that's, the <laughs> that's exactly but, what many people bring through. But, that, yeah. but it, yeah. is, it is lack of communication. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's communication so vital. Mm -hmm. If you're not talking, you mm -hmm. don't know what's going on in your partner's head. You start thinking all sorts of things in your mind. What you thinking? Mm -hmm. and then your attitude can change. And then what can be wrong? And I, probably I was guilty of this earlier. Is you start showing more affection for your children than you do for your own wife, mm -hmm. and then it's, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. Thank God you guys managed to go through that, <laughs> yeah. uh, or not go through, but take the opportunity to do the love walk. Yes, you know, talk things through, mm -hmm. and be here with us today to, yeah. to share your stories. And yeah. yeah, I don't need to ask you if you now are. Uh, I mean, you are expressing more your love towards him. Do you hug him a bit more now? Kisses and hugs? <laughs> or, or, you learn to, or you learn to deal without it? Um, no, it's not dealing with A. I'm mm. understanding her. Because mm -hmm. if you don't have an understanding of a person, because like I said, when I got married, I just had in my mind how it should be. And I wasn't really thinking about where she was coming from, why she was like that. I know she, she came from a difficult background. She went through some difficulties, but I never went through that. So sometimes we can be a bit insensitive mm -hmm. to the other person's needs. And then when you really sit down and start thinking about what they, what really makes them happy, you get to know each other. I mean, it's nine years, but even today we learn more about each yeah. other. If it's like continuing and to learn about it. And it's not always the way we want things, is yeah. it? Yeah. So a marriage is all about keeping the balance, then, yeah. right? It's almost like a scale. Mm -hmm. So if the scale is, is spending too much to one side, there's something wrong. Yeah. So you have to keep that balance. So. Yes, perhaps she wanted that a bit more than she was giving, but you understood where she was coming from. So you kind of sacrificed a little bit. So it's all about compromising, right? And it, it, I believe it happened from, from both sides. That was good. Yeah, so that's it then. It was lovely. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Here, once again, we see the importance of intelligent love being applied. They did the Love Walk, which is an event we from time to time promote. Uh, so couples can take that day to go on a walk and just talk about the relationship. Nothing else. No children, no cell phones, no family, no one else. No pressure. Involved. No pressure at all. They take the whole day to, you know, take a stroll in the park and then discuss about the relationship. That's what they did. Mm -hmm. And that's when they started, you know, being on the same page because they talked. Something that very, very interesting that Romney mentioned is that they, they saw the need of talking, addressing those issues. By talking and listening also, mm -hmm. which is very important, um, communication is not only about talking, communication is also about listening. Because if you only want to talk, that's not communication. You're dictating you know, the way you want to live with that person. Mm -hmm. So they talked about it, they listened to each other, then they came to the stand uh, to the understanding of what they needed to do in order to be uh, on the same page, to be well synchronized in that relationship. It's something so simple, it seems even silly, but how many couples, they don't do that? And you, you, you can see that your partner is not doing well, perhaps he or she is in need of talking. You know, you have to take time to do that. It's not only about working and taking care of the children, doing home chores, running errands, and at the end of the day, you lay down the same bed, go to sleep, thinking that that's what marriage is all about, when it's in, in fact, it's not. And you see, they, it was a decision that they made. We are going to sit down, 
and you're gonna talk about all the issues that I have against you and that you have against me. Mm -hmm. And then after they understood what each other needed, then they took steps. Okay, what are we going to do in order to fulfill that needs that you have and, and that I have? And it's very important just to highlight here that when you do that and your partner presents his or her list to you, don't be too quick or too hasty to say, hey, no, I don't do that. I'm then, not like that. I'm not like that. Mm -hmm. Then there's no point because mm -hmm. we've seen that happening. So we are going to uh, be answering in our next segment a very interesting question that has everything to do with that. It's Dear Love Talk time. And that question linked to the conclusion of today's show. So it's very interesting that we received this question exactly right when? this week in which we are discussing about the uh, if it's possible to be together and yet not synced. And okay. how to think if that's and your how case. to make it, you know, how to, <laughs> you know, be in, in um, how can I say, be on the same page, reach a common ground in the relationship. Okay, don't go anywhere. <laughs> 